It's a deal for Zal Market Analysts at CFTs.com bringing you a review of the US markets for the trading session Friday the 13th of October 2017. Please visit Trade Signal Signals and Market Updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. Certainly visit the uh, uh, or access the uh, app via the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so looking forward to US markets uh, opening today. Uh, we're awaiting uh, US data very shortly. Uh, at present, we have the uh, US economy. Yesterday, the uh, markets uh, certainly uh, closed lower on the Nasdaq, the S&P and the Dow. Uh, again, uh, ongoing concerns with regards to North Korea. You have situation with regards to the Iranian deal being announced today. Situation with the spat with regards to Turkey. Okay, uh, it'll be interesting to see how the market responds there. Uh, in terms of um, the uh, US markets for today, let's see exactly where the market is positioned. Economic data today will be market moving, so just bear that in mind. You have... Uh, Inflation data, and then you have, um, uh, just confirm, you have inflation data, and we have the uh, retail sales numbers as well. So again, that will be market moving as well. Uh, we also have Federal Reserve speakers later on. So you've got Rosengren, uh, you've got the likes of Mr. Evans, Kapler, and Powell, and then you have the ECB, Mr. Constasio speaking. So it'll be interesting to see how the market reacts there. Okay, so uh, that's the uh, status quo. Let's look at the actual uh, markets at present. Let's see where they're positioned. Just bear in mind yesterday, just to give you a rundown with regards to yesterday. Uh, also, remember for Chinese data, certainly came in stronger today. Nikkei certainly higher overnight as well. Uh, we did have speeches from Brainard Powell yesterday as well. Also, Mr. Draghi and Mr. Pryor, uh, Korea, Locht and Slager, basically all uh, certainly uh, having to uh, certainly send their word. We still have the euro above 1.18 though, bear that in mind. We did actually get a rally in sterling up to 1.33 uh, before it actually gave gave something back. Okay, jobless claims yesterday, uh, PPI data, inflation data certainly supporting the um, the actual uh, US dollar. Continuous jobless claims certainly coming in lower, so again supporting the dollar again. Uh, will we see a dollar strength continue? That's the question, and we'll see exactly how the market responds there. Okay, then so look at the technical picture for US markets. Let's start by looking at uh, let's just bring the US markets up first of all. Bear with me. Okay, let's quickly bring up US indices. At the moment, futures certainly are pointing higher, especially the Nasdaq. Okay, the the, uh, the Dow certainly is pushing higher as well, certainly bouncing off yesterday's weakness. Okay, so let's look at the Dow Jones Industrial Index. Okay, first of all, Dow continues to make higher highs and higher lows. No signs of uh, certainly stopping, although we did get a doji candle yesterday. So again, certainly exercise some caution. Uh, the Dow transports, as you can see here, I was expecting them to uh, <clears throat> certainly hold up key resistance there did actually break out to new highs uh, so again that certainly needs to be respected but let's see how uh, how long it can continue for that's the question okay with regards to the Dow transports okay moving on to the S&P 500 then S&P 500 starting off with a daily chart you certainly are exiting some form of resistance and exhaustion here on the daily chart Moving on to the 60-minute chart, we I was expecting this uh, channel to break down. It hasn't thus far, so you have to respect that. Uh, looking at the 60-minute chart, we certainly have resistance at uh, uh, 2555. Currently, futures are trading around 2555. So let's see if the S&P can break out higher on the back of stronger Chinese data. That's the question. Yesterday we closed the gap, but then obviously we rejected and pushed into the new lows. Do we come higher and obviously retest that key resistance and then start to return lower? That's the question. Okay. So that's the question we're waiting for, for an answer to. Okay, let's see how the market responds with regards to that. Okay, all right. In terms of the rest of the markets, let's look at the uh, the actual uh, uh, iShares Russell. So looking at the Russell now, 2000 ETF, so IWM. Daily chart certainly looks exhausted. It wants to return lower. Okay, 60 minute chart at the moment. You kick your key resistance up here at 150. Okay, so key resistance at 150. Let's see if it holds out. If it does, then you are looking to move south. So from my perspective, a Russell certainly indicating exhaustion. S&P indicating exhaustion, provided it remains at 25.55. If we break to new highs, then obviously we'll get a short squeeze. Okay, so that's the status quo. Let's bring on the NASDAQ now. The NASDAQ yesterday flushed quite uh, quite, sufficient, quite prolifically. You can see you had a topping tail yesterday on the NASDAQ. Okay, looking at the 10-minute chart again. Looking at potential rejection, the pivot high we actually hit yesterday was at um, six zero ninety five. Obviously, the market certainly has rejected that. Uh, and again, there's an argument here for a H and S formation to be brewing as well. Okay, so let's see how that unfolds. 
on the uh, NASDAQ. Concerns with regards to, um, just to confirm, yeah, concerns with regards to Model X as well, with regards to Tesla. So again, that will certainly looking to be weigh, weighing on the market as well. Okay, so we'll see how Chinese data certainly uh, is interpreted on the NASDAQ. Let's see if they interpret that as bullish or bearish, or has all that news already been baked into the cake? That's the question. From my perspective, one would argue yes. Okay, but the market obviously has other ideas, and we'll see what sort of ideas it, it certainly displays later on. Okay, so I think that really is a summation. Uh, given the fact that we have the Nikkei breaking higher as well, just bear that in mind in terms of the Dow and the S&P and the Russell as well. Let's see how, how they react. Will they continue to move higher or will they uh, will they pause? So that so certainly will be interesting to notice. Okay, so that, I think that's a summation really of US markets. From my perspective, you're looking at the Dow transport still making a new high. So again, one would certainly err on the side of caution with any short opportunities. Uh, but having said that, the biotech certainly are into resistance and indicating weakness. Okay, and the rest of the stocks as well. Let's look at the VIX as well. Let's see where the VIX is trading at the moment on a 10 minute chart. You're certainly seeing some form of uh, potential reversal about our bounce back. So let's see if this has, actually has legs. Okay, so again, SP, watch out for 25.55. If we break that, then obviously the bulls are in control. And uh, given the fact that uh, we really are in, uh, in, into uh, new territory. And uh, again, it will just be more of a short squeeze higher, as you can see here. The market certainly has continued its bull run since I'm not too sure how long now, but it's been very, very impressive. Having said that, doji channels are plenty. You, uh, EU markets as well, certainly coming under pressure as well to a large extent, especially the FTSE is still fails to close the collapse since this morning. So, therefore, you are looking at risk aversion. Okay, I think that's a good summation, really. From my perspective, certainly looking for risk off. Okay, again, the market may well have other ideas. On that note, please be sure to visit cfds.com for your training needs and take advantage of the bonus. Goodbye now.